Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and today uh, I will tell you about how can we file a tax audit uh, in our NetSuite application, what is the actual procedure of it and what and how it is done. So let's begin. So as we know that the term audit refers to a check, review, verification or inspection of a record, transaction, account, etc. Similarly, a tax audit is the process of verification and inspection of the accounts of a taxpayer to confirm their adherence or their validity to the provisions of the income tax law. The tax agencies identify and resolve the taxpayer error and the purpose of tax audit or a return examination is to determine whether reports filed with the taxing authorities are correct. Like there can be a various scenarios in which uh, uh, the the auditor wants uh, the auditor wants to know that uh, the information that is given into the ITR that is income tax return is correct or not uh, whether the taxpayer is evading uh, the tax so he uh, wants to know the uh, uh, I mean he wants to know the actual uh, values of that so for that purpose auditing is done. The IRS, uh, if uh, we take US uh, into consideration, so the IRS, that is the uh, Internal Revenue Service, is the department that is responsible for conducting audits to ensure that taxpayers are claiming or paying what is owned and not hiding their assets or incomes that they mentioned in the ITR or, or the uh, if we take companies, so if they are not hiding their profits and all. So the tax audit report is to be electronically filed by the chartered accountants uh, to the income tax department and a tax audit is when the IRS examines tax return information to ensure all uh, reported data is correct or not. So there are certain steps that are followed into the into the auditing process. First is the selection process wherein the IRS will contact a taxpayer who has been selected for audit by email. Then comes the next step that is providing documentation. So the IRS may request uh, receipts, invoices, bank statements or any can cancelled checks that are there. Some electronic versions of documents are also, accept are also acceptable in that. After uh, providing the required documentation, the next step is uh, reviewing the process. So here the examination of document are conducted either in mail or in taxpayers home. So if too many documents are required to be provided, then in-person review is the best option for that. And the last step uh, of this auditing process is concluding an audit, uh, wherein the IRS has reached to a conclusion that there is no change, which means that the original amount uh, owned or refunded in the tax will remain the same. On the other hand, there can be the scenarios in which the IRS can propose a new amount in which the taxpayer can either agree or disagree with the, uh, such amount. So there uh, can be both the scenarios. It means that the auditor can conclude that the information or the amounts that are given in the ITR is correct. So he'll be agreed on it. And there can be a scenarios in which uh, after uh, making the required edits, he can change the amounts. So these are the various steps. Uh, these are the four main steps that are followed in the process of auditing. So in NetSuite application, there are ways in which the auditing can be done. Uh, the first is we can, uh, the GL audit numbering uh, help can be taken where, and this GL audit numbering feature applied a gapless numbering sequence to all the GL posting transactions to comply with the international and auditing requirements. So we'll see how can we uh, uh, have the view of the GL audit numbering. So for that, we'll go into transaction management. Here yeah, we have this option GL audit numbering sequence. As I have already created a sequence for it, so we'll view it. So here you can see under the GL audit numbering, uh, we are providing a sequence of numbers and the transaction date is given, the transaction type, whether it is a journal, bill, bill credit, vendor prepayments or any kind of inventory adjustments or worksheets are there. What is the entry date? What is the accounting period? What are the accounts that have been affected and what are the amounts uh, of that particular uh, transaction and the subsidy is given here. 
so you can see that this uh, the basic thing is uh, the numbering has been provided to each transaction and we can have a separate or an individual view of each account like you can see that this is a journal that is 1168 but uh, it has been provided two numbers just because we can have an uh, we can have a separate view of this general and administrative intercompany expenses and the accounts receivable similarly if we go down here that the number that is 102 uh, three uh, different accounts have been affected that is a accounts payable and VAT on purchases and general and administrative miscellaneous expenses so that is why it is showing separately though it is a, a same type of account that is bill so in this way we can have the uh, numbering sequence with the help of which uh, auditing can be uh, easily done you can see that uh, since it is from uh, January 2022 to August 2022, uh, sorry, to December 2022. So it is containing all the transactions that have been taken uh, during such a date. So we can uh, view and uh, reach out to a particular account. The next thing is uh, for the purpose of tax auditing, we have to generate the or extract the GLs. So tax authorities required an export of GL data for auditing purpose to determine if business are reporting their tax return correctly or not. So for that purpose, we'll go into reports, tax. Here we have this option audit files. And this file enables taxpayer to provide their correct uh, records to the auditors in support of their tax return in order to review the accounting records. So here with the help of NetSuite application, we can generate an extract of our GL data to a format that, comply, that complies with the government uh, requirements. So here we have to provide the report name that we want to extract. So we can uh, take the extract of these things. I want only the GL extract. We can select the subsidiary from this uh, dropdown also. So I'm taking this VISP UKHQ. Now we have to select the from and to period. So I have selected this quarter 3 2022 and quarter 4 2022. Now I will generate this. It is under process. We have to refresh it. So here we can see that we have uh, generated the GL data. This is for this period subsidy is given here and uh, if we want to download it so I will click on this download. So here you can see that this is the GL extract that have been come here. The company name is given, the transaction ID is given, document number, the year in which the transaction has happened, posting period is here. It also contains the local currency and local amount is there. Entity names are also given. And what are the GL accounts that have been affected? Its name and numbers are also given here. So the GL data extract content contains very uh, uh, key transactions like posting date, accounts of debits and credits, currency, reporting currency, and all in a CSV format. So we can download it with the help of that download option. So that's all about the topic. We have seen how can we uh, have uh, the GL audit numbering in our NetSuite application and how can we uh, generate the required GL uh, general ledger report, general ledger data for the purpose of auditing. So in case of any doubts and consultations, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.